situation before escalating it. This is what a bishop, somebody who's trying to be a leader, somebody that's climbing the ranks, these are the characteristics of becoming that excellent before Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Okay? So it said, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of the Heavenly Father. Now, of course, if somebody come up to you, they, if somebody, the scripture, man, if somebody calls you to strike them, okay, we know that, hey, don't get me wrong, if somebody calls you to strike them, then hey, hey, that's how it happened, you know? But to defuse a situation, to, if you can get out of a situation, you can, you know? Hey, I'll tell this quick testimony, brothers. I'll just tell it randomly. It's a, I just thought of it. I said, fuck it. I'll tell it in the, in, as quick as I thought of it. Man, one time I was, I, ju I just had got back from grocery shopping, me and my family. And um, we in and out, you know, I got to take the grocery groceries from the car to the house. We're taking the groceries from the car to the house. We get done. As soon as we get done, we close the door. And um, nobody didn't lock the door. Nobody didn't lock the door, okay? None of the family locked the door. So we putting up the food and stuff. And a random, super drunk Northern Kingdom had to be uh, Issachar Zebulon. Matter of fact, I would say he probably was Zebulon. Walked into my house, man. And he walked in my house. And my and my woman was in the, in the living room. And she was like, she just screamed. And I'm like, what the fuck? I walk in, I walk from the kitchen to, to the living room. And I said, man, what the fuck? And I'm getting ready to strike this dude. I'm ready to fuck this dude up. As quick as I was saying, what the fuck? The spirit of Yabba Shemel Shai had showed me that dude was so fucking drunk, he didn't even know where he was fucking at. He was the, he was the dude that lived about three, four, five houses down from me. He thought he was at his house. Now, I didn't know that when I first see him. So I'm like, man, what the hell you doing, man? And I kind of shoved him. And when I shoved him, he flew out the front door because he was still in the, the threshold of the door. I'm like, what you doing, man? I pushed him and he fell on the floor and he kind of looked like he was knocked out over a, a push. And I'm like, damn, this dude is fuck. It's all registering me. Registering to me right in the in the moment. So I had the I had the thoughts of I could I should just whoop this dude ass. What the fuck is his problem? Getting walking in my crib like that. Nah, man, I picked the fucking dude up because he was drunk as shit. I picked him up like, man, bro, what's up with you, man? What's going on, man? You know, I just small talking him, gave him a water and shit. And he, he apologizing to me the whole time. He, he just drunk and said, I'm sorry, man. I, I thought this was my crib. I, and I thank the Lord that I didn't engage and off of just, you know what I mean? And this ain't nothing about I'm smarter than Nah, man. This is all praise y'all by Shemel Shai, and this goes to what um, we're explaining here. I just thank the Lord that I wasn't so quick to be uh, a striker or to be. Nah, man, wisdom was moving. Wisdom was moving. So I will believe to the Lord. I got a better, even a better reward for helping this guy tell talking some sense into this dude and then give him a water and sending him on his way, man. Right? But. You know, you know, just a quick testimony, brothers, man. Um, but yeah, man, that's that's a part of being a peacemaker. We're peacemakers, brothers, before we're anything else. We're the ones that's gonna defuse the situations and stuff. And but don't get us wrong. Don't get us wrong. Because if we are the elect, at the same time, we the house of David. In the house of David, you don't want to mess with them.